Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to create a Matisse inspired collage. Before we get started, I want to mention that the name of this channel is Rainbow Parrot Art. And I have so many super fun art tutorials and art lessons on this channel, so be sure to stick around and check them out. Today we're gonna to create a collage inspired by Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse is a French visual artist who lived from 1869 to 1954. He is arguably one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. Early on, he was known for creating colorful, impressionistic paintings. He painted a variety of still lifes and landscapes. Then, in the early 1900s, Matisse and another artist named André Durand became the leaders of a new art movement known as Fauvism. This movement emphasized the use of bright colors. Matisse's work changed forever when he was diagnosed with abdominal cancer in 1941. He became limited to a wheelchair and was often stuck in bed. Due to his physical limitations, painting was difficult, so he began to use scissors and cut paper into collages. These paper collages have become some of his most famous works. Today, we're going to try out Matisse's collage making methods and create a collage inspired by several of his aquatic artworks. Okay, so you're gonna need a piece of paper and some scissors and I'm gonna give you a few pointers. So the first thing is when you're cutting, you want to move the paper, not your scissors. So you see how my scissors are kind of staying in the same place and I'm turning my paper as I cut. So try that, okay. The next pointer is don't try to draw what you're making first. Just cut it out, just go for it. Don't draw it first. And the next pointer I have for you is to work with your mistakes. So if you do something and it wasn't what you meant to do and you don't really like it, just go with it, just work with it. For a warm up, I'm gonna have you grab a piece of paper that's any color. Most of my paper already has some cuts in it, that's totally fine. I can kind of, if those are distracting me, I can kind of get rid of those so I can focus more on the main piece of paper I'm working with. I'm going to try to do a cutout of his orange cutout from 1952. Okay, so for our next warm up, um, I'm listening to a Dizzy Gillespie song called Oop Bop Shabam, and I'm gonna try to just focus on cutting what I hear. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Okay, here's my next challenge. I hope you're following along. I'm gonna to try to cut out this diver. This ties in nicely with Matisse's giant mural sized collage from 1952 called The Swimming Pool. I'm gonna try one more diver. Now, if you're doing this, you should give yourself about two minutes to do it. Don't give yourself any more time because if you give yourself too much time, you're just gonna get really lost in the details. And this is about just really quick, fast work. So here I go, I'm gonna cut out this diver now. Try not to be discouraged if your finished paper doesn't look anything like what you're trying to cut out. <laughs> Again, this is all just for fun. One last diver. Try to reuse paper if you can. So I've still got some extra space here. I'm gonna reuse this for this, this diver I'm gonna to try to do right now. Okay, I have one last challenge for you. It's optional, but it's pretty fun. Try to find a random object in the room and cut it out. I'm going to gather the pieces I've cut so far and start to spread them out into my paper so I can get an idea of what I might want to do next. Okay, quick pointer. If you have a piece of paper like this, you can use the negative space as part of your collage if you like. You could glue this onto your paper. 
Another thing I want to point out is if you have a piece of paper like this where there's a lot of it missing but you still have some paper left over here and over here, you can use these papers to cut out uh, additional patterns and designs. So that's a nice way to try not to waste paper. For example, I can use this little area right here to cut out an additional shape. Coming back to our aquatic water theme, I want you to take another look at Matisse's swimming pool collage and maybe even pause the video here and try to copy a shape from one of these images. When I look at this collage, I see what look like little bits of flowing water. So I'm gonna to try to cut that out. Remember if you have smaller little pieces of paper like this, try to use them. Let's stick with our water theme and take a look at Matisse's 1946 collage, Oceania the Sea. Do you see any shapes here that you would like to try to cut out? I'm gonna use one of these leftover scraps here to try to cut out a wavy sea plant. All right, I'm gonna take another small scrap piece and I'm gonna use it to try to cut out a fish-like creature. The last piece I want you to look at is a collage Matisse also made. The last piece I want you to look at is a collage Matisse made in 1946 called Polynesia the Sea. As you can see, there are a variety of sea plants and sea creatures in this collage. Once again, I'm going to try to use some of my leftover smaller scraps and I'm going to cut out a starfish that I see in this picture. I'm also going to try to cut out some of the sea grass that frames around the edge of the collage. Now think if there are any other sea plants or sea creatures that you'd like to add to your collage. Feel free to pause the video here if you see an image that you'd like to try to cut out. I'm gonna cut out a wavy sea plant. I'm also gonna to try to cut out this seahorse. Once you start arranging your cutouts on the paper, you may think of some additional shapes that you want to make. I decided to add another wavy sea plant and some kind of bright pink coral and another starfish some kind of sea snake, a hammerhead shark, another fish, a few more blue water wavelets, and another wavy sea plant. I'm ready to use a glue stick to start gluing down my cutouts. Make sure you have a scratch paper underneath the cutouts while you are applying the glue. This is super important. When your scratch paper starts to get sticky, replace it with a new dry piece of scratch paper. This ensures that your cutouts don't get stuck to the scratch paper. I'm done gluing down my cutouts, but some of my cutouts overhang the edge of my paper. If this happens to you, you can leave it that way, or if you want, you can flip your paper over and trim the paper where it overhangs. It's up to you. I hope you love how your collage turns out. When you're all finished, please gather up the larger pieces of paper in one pile and gather the tiny pieces of paper in another pile. Please recycle all the pieces of paper that are this size or smaller. And please put all pieces of paper back into the paper box that are this size or bigger so that someone else can use them. Please support my artwork by subscribing to this channel, Rainbow Parrot Art, and hitting the like button on this video.